step one will be disconnecting the negative battery terminal. Now depending on the application, this battery may be located in the front or the rear of the vehicle. Next step, we're going to go ahead and connect the harness to the module. Then using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to release the tabs on both sides. This is going to allow the board to slide out of the casing. Next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the dip switch settings are set to stock. Now it's time to reconnect the negative battery terminal. This next step, you're going to turn the ignition on. The status indicator should be flashing and the level indicator should be off. You're going to press and release the learn pedal switch. Once you do that, the status level indicator lights will both illuminate. Now you're going to slowly depress and release the throttle pedal a few times within the 15 second window. This is going to allow the module to learn your throttle. Now you'll see the status indicator begins to flash and the level indicator turns off. Now go ahead and turn the ignition off. All right, next step is going to be sliding the board back into the enclosure. Go ahead and slide that in there. You're going to hear it clip. That's how you know it's secured. Now for this next step, you're going to want to go ahead and secure this module underneath the dash with the supplied 3M tape or the zip ties. Now, using the supplied self-tapping screws, we're gonna go ahead and secure this bracket right here underneath the dash. Now that the bracket is secured, we're gonna go ahead and connect the harness to the switch. And go ahead and put the switch inside the bracket. Now would also be a good time to go ahead and use these supplied zip ties to secure the harness underneath the 